Petty goal and DDF on the front row off the grid. We race the mini under 10 final, a perfect start from Pedigal. Super Lolo Bryce follows the WSK Champions Cup champion up into turn one. Great run from Di Pietro Antonio into the hotel hairpin. Doesn't attack, waits, skates under brakes, that's Pedigal. He's got the race lead from Di Pietro Antonio, Lumax, Robertson, Lindemann, Lazzaro. Di Filippo, Rocco from Canada, Ria. Master by David Moscardi, Robertson races down the inside, and Mason up into third place. Of Achille Rhea. Super Lolo Brass down the inside and takes the lead. Nice pass by the Roman. Petty but as we come back to live pitches, Nicolo has retaken the race lead. Energy one and four, baby race. Second and third place. Desperate to try and catch up. Here comes the attack. Here comes the attack. There is the attack from Team Baby Race. the door open, Petty go up the inside. The Italian straight positions. Lorenzo from second back to fourth. And now Davide Di Filippo right behind him. And Sin Lindemann, Sin sends it. And the Dutchman up in the big fight in the Bureau Arts. Three laps to race. this for the remaining two and a bit laps as Petty Cole tries the inside now tries the outside he'll get the line around the hotel corner holds it onto the grass up into turn two Petty Cole back into third place at Nicolò Petty Cole at the age of eight already could drift a WRC Subaru rally car and he needed that grass track experience right then he tries the outside what a move from Petty Cole Antonio, we've got one kilometre to race. Sin sends it down the inside. Robertson on the outside runs out of road. Lindemann launches into second. The Dutchman goes P2. Here comes Ria. Robertson around the outside will try and sweep back in. He takes the Dutchman. Fabulous pass from Robertson. They're three wide across the line. The checkered flag waves. Petty Cole wins. What a race. Robertson second. Super Lolo Brass. Lorenzo Di Pietro Antonio on the podium in third. Fabulous racing as ever in this, the Mini Group 3 final, the Mini Group 3 category. This is the original 60 Mini category. Group 3, Mark Pilipenko will start from pole position for Team Baby Race. On the outside, the Indonesian Oliver Sini in the Vortex Power, Tony Kart 524. has missed the start badly as his Tony Kart teammate Gorski goes up the inside 
A perfect getaway from Mark Hilipenko as two cuts go into the grass and rejoin at the bottom of the field. One is parked in the wall. Team Baby Rice in first and second place. It was Kumpen off the road. Kumpen is out. Krucho, Pilopenko, and Albert Tan in four. That's Sini. Oliver, the Indonesian in the Vortex Power, Tony Kart. As we go full course yellow. An incident at the top of the hill. So the carts will come to a stop on the start finish straight as we go full course yellow, which becomes a red flag on lap four. So word coming from race control, we will have a restart in just a moment. So we are back restarting the Mini Group 3 final. And this time we race green. Bruxo, Hilipenko, the baby race duo, one, two. Already Bruno having to defend up from Albert Tam. We're back underway with the Mini Group 3 final. follows him through. The Russian and Ukrainian teammates work together. Head of San Ratatsky and also for team driver DML in P10. Back underway as Bruno fires it down the inside. Krusha with a nice lead. Wow! A wild ride for the French driver as Albert Tama and Pilipenko and Oliver Sini get involved as well. Krusha pulling away. Sini, the Indonesian, in the Vortex Power, Tony Kart, behind not one but two Baby Race Paralins. Bruno still there in P4. There is the young Russian for Team Driver who started out of 17 as Sini sends it down the inside to second place. Pilipenko defence from the Belgian Trucho into the final hairpin. Trucho will win. Alessandro Trucho rounds the hotel hairpin. The checkered flag waves. Alessandro Trucho, 14 baby rice, has won round one of the WSK Open Series. Sini home in second place. And Mark Pilipenko, it's team baby rice in one and three. Final money has been just brilliant. We race. Drew goes through into position four. It's his teammate who's got the race lead. The Piana up the inside goes wheel to wheel with Ilya Badeshkin. Go down the back straight for the first time. Baguti's in trouble. A move up the inside. Sebastian sends it on through. The Queenslander on the charge. A fine drive into position five at the end of lap one. Fighting with Pizzonia. He just got by the South American. Bereshkin takes the lead. We've got an answer to our rhetorical question, at least for the moment, because the ruthless racing Russian has gone on through and taken money. Sebastian up the inside. Iskandari up onto the podium. I came here to party and it's all on my face. Deja vu, deja vu, all on my face. The 
gap between Mani and Eskandari, eight tenths of a second. The Australian don't discount him taking the win as they race down the back straight. Roykoff is going with him. We'll check the gap this time, it was nine tenths of a second. One second, eight purple lap. Roykoff races up the inside. Luba goes on through and Sebastian falls off the podium. He's been caught by the South American. He knows it. Looks over his shoulder, down into turn four. Can he respond on the Zanki Motorsport driver? Across the line at 119 k's an hour, 122 for Pizzonia. The boy from Brazil, Pizzonia, is now just a step off a maiden WSK podium. Sebastian trying to drag himself into this battle. Down into turn four, he's gone on through. Omenino do Brasil, the boy from Brazil, Antonio Pizzonia, up onto the podium. This is the last lap of the race. Flag is about to wave. Ilya Bereshkin dominates the final. The Russian wins round one of the WSK Open Series. Andrei Amani, the driver from Monte Carlo, he comes home in position to Pizzonia. Antonio, P3. Marquez there to the left of your screen will start from pole position on his home circuit alongside from north of the border in Switzerland for the Roman KGT motorsport team, Christian Canonica. But he yielded him from Turkey, is out before the start. The OKN final here at Franca Corta. The WSK Open Series, we race! Ferrari up the inside, Lamberto goes through to position two, last year's WSK Final Cup champion. Locks up down into turn four in the Formula K cart. As the field makes its way through, up the hill for the first time. Perfect start from Nicolas Marquez there. And Gino goes on through to P3. Sideways from Fasilios. Fighting with the sweet Fabian Sturson, who tries to go by the Greek for the team of Marco and Andrea Antonelli. Just here on the WSK podium after Jason Kospopoulos in mini at the end of last year. As Rocchio down the inside. Gino goes on through to position two. Finishing way back in 90 of something for Fabian Sturzen. Pole position on Friday as Canonica goes down the inside and takes Sturzen's teammate Julius Ojepa for P3. It up the inside. There is nothing on Shep they can do about that. As Vasilios dives down the inside to try and take position three, Canonica defends it thirdly. Brilliant from Christian. It didn't work from Vasilios. Lines him 
up into the hotel hair banner, dives down the inside, Khan Nonica goes on through into position two. Here comes Vasilios. Three laps remaining in the OKN final. The Greek up the inside, Wakio responds, almost makes contact with the back of the KJT cart. Vasilios does. Twice he's tried to go P3 and twice he's failed. On this battle for second, third and fourth, Wakio slides wide on the penultimate lap of the race. Vasilios, this time he sends it. And the Greek goes on through, needs to close the door. Down into the hotel hairpin, Wakio can't respond. Nicolas Marquez, a 14 driver, dominates the final. He wins round one of the WSK Open Series. Carnonica from Switzerland, second from Greece. Vasilios, Apostolides, a maiden WSK podium. ready for the KZ2 Masters final, which is racing for with us for the first time in WSK. The drivers over 35 years of age, they will race over the 20 lap final. The question is, can anybody stop the 49 year old Brescian Davide Forde? He will start on pole position in just a moment for the GSR team. The legend that is Forde to the left of your screen on pole position. We race. Havelin in the tippy car tries to go on through. La Martina goes with him. But it's Manuel Cozzaglio who's up into second place in the Birrell Art. Clean start for the KZ2 Masters final. Havelin defends as Manetti goes around the outside. Alessandro Manetti, the legend that is the two-time world champion, the five-time European champion in the 101 Intrepid Cart. Habelen, La Martina, Antonio Piccioni, and then Riccardo Nalon. Forte has dominated so far this weekend. Pole position on Friday as we approach half race distance. Abelin runs into the back of Manuel Cotaglio. Looks over his left shoulder, back of the Croatian. To be fair, it looked as though Manuel almost missed the apex. And with that, Forde pulls away by half a second. <music> Silvia Forde, David's daughter. He's at number one fan, hoping that he can take victory here this afternoon. It's looking good. He took pole position. He won three from three heats. He won the pre-final. The final quarter of the KZ2 Masters final. Forde, Cotaglio, and the Croatian, Christian Havelin. of KZ2 Masters in WSK. Down the back straight, closes the line, turns in early, accelerates for the first time since Genki Belgium in 2013. David Forde has won in WSK. He wins the first ever running of KZ2 Masters. Bravissimo. Comes home P2 and the Croatian Christian Havelin, the Tibica driver on the podium in third.
final of the afternoon for KZ2. 82 drivers for the shifter car category here at Francia Borda. Senna Van Wallstein to the left of your screen. To the right, Christian Cannibal Bertuca. We race. Launching off the line is Bertuca. He makes contact with the ball in a center. Wow! And kayaks off the road. A sensational start. Bertuca takes the lead. Kramers goes on through with the first of the Tony Cards. It's all gone wrong for Marcus Kayak. Unbelievable here. Kramers. Luye, who has won the last two WSK races in the Super Master Series here at Frantura Porta, is out. As we see in the 13 Soddy card coming onto the straight, that's Casper Shormans. He was in the grass, recovers it superbly. He's in position 15. The Dutchman clips the ripple strip, tries to chase and pass. Christian Bertuka. The battle rages on between Virilat, the S16 chassis, leads the two Scotty Cart Sigmas. The TM from 50 Racing in P1. Kayak on the back of Piccini. And Shormans. Kayak sails down the inside. And the WSK Champions Cup champion, he won the first race of the 19th season of WSK World Competition at Lomato. We've got former world champions who have not even qualified for the final. Senna rages up, tries to go up inside Christian Berduca. Fighting with the former world champion to control. Casper Schormans is there after going rally cross. And Senna sends it down the inside in the second corner. They did touch. The Sony car kissed the back of the number one Viral Art. They made contact. Christian is furious. The Sony cards first and third. The Viral Art of Bertuka in second place. The gap out to fight into the second and the purple sector from Santa Van Wolstein. Big send down the inside from Mateos Pigel as he takes the racing Romania Daniel Facile. Daniel back to 10. Spugel goes through into P9, also racing with a CPP Sports Sony Car Racing Team. P1 for the Dutchman. The Italian second and third. The Estonian Marcus Kayak trying to get up onto the podium for the German Marinello SRP team. Kayak on the back of Colomba. Kayak down the inside, sails on through, but goes on too deep. He's at the end of his chances of taking a podium. Locked up in spectacular fashion. Marcus Kayak. Chalenta now, P4. Chalenta, P5. Kayak goes on through. Maxi Moller still down in 24th place and a 45-480 is faster than the leaders. He took pole position on Friday. Senevier Wallstein dominates KZ2 to win the final here at Franca Borda. He takes victory for the Sony Card Racing team. Bertuga second, Carlopa is third.